Hi Lip. Uh, so the irradiance probes are a nice tool to get more realistic lighting in our viewport. So first let me turn it off and uh, the irradiance probes is, are these little dots that we, we have here. So first of all let me kill it. So I'll say free lighting cache and this is in the render settings and then indirect lighting is all of our settings for irradiance probes. So right now it says we have a cache here so let's kill the cache and this is what our lighting would look like without the irradiance probes so this is just uh, really basic looking lighting but then when we go Z and bake lighting it'll bring that nice bounce light in using these probes and the probes let's let's look at the settings of the probes here they're over here and we can look at the display the clipping um, so we can change the number of probes here and make it simpler. So now it's only like two, uh, I don't know, a couple dots here. These green dots represent the probes. But yeah, with more you get a little bit more detail. But I just like to use it as like a general fill light that fills up this, the scene so it doesn't look too dark and I like to keep the settings pretty low otherwise it, it can take a pretty long time to bake um, and you can choose how many bounces of light here so let's try like one bounce bake lighting there's one bounce so we get a little bit of a fill light in here so let's try two bounces so now it's getting a little bit better three bounces almost looks the same and then four bounces is probably no difference at all yeah it's it gets harder and harder to tell so I usually leave this on two just for speed because um, with with two bounces it's pretty fast like we could add a light in here and uh, go Z bake and it's baking that in less like you know two seconds so let's try changing the light here. Yeah, so it's just a I use it for a general fill light and it, it makes things look a lot more realistic. Um, especially after you add on like volume or foggers and stuff like that, it, it starts to really look like a, a nice realistic light. So, and then when you remove lights, you, you might have to rebake because it's still using, it's still acting as if that light was there and creating that fill light. So you go Z, bake lighting. And then now we're, we're back to normal. Why is that taking so long? Oh, I think it's because of the volume fog. So anyway, to add this stuff, you, let's say if we wanted to make a new one, you just go into object mode, go shift A, light probe, irradiance. There it is. And you just want to envelop the area that that has the light. And it takes a little bit longer with volume because it's it has to take into account the, the volume as well as the lighting. So it's going to ch chug a, a little bit. But if I were to turn off the volume, like that, it's going to bake that in a couple seconds. Okay, I hope that helps.